Hello and welcome to this channel. Today we're going to discuss candlesticks. Candlesticks as seen on a stock chart, like the chart we see here. We're going to discuss what is a candlestick, what does it represent, the anatomy of a candlestick, the types of candlesticks, and how to interpret the candlestick to understand the information that it represents. So by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of the fundamentals of candlestick and candlestick charts. Now, what is a candlestick? A candlestick is what represents the price action for a given time period for any stock. And that time period could be anywhere from one minute, two minutes, ten minutes, two hours, one day, one week, etc. Depending on the chart you're looking at. So if you're looking at a five minute chart, the candlestick would represent the price action for five minutes. If you're looking at a one day chart, a candlestick would represent the price action for one day. And what is the price action? The price action is the flow of prices for that period of time. How the price is flowing up or down. So the candlestick basically tells us everything we need to know about the price for that given time period. Now, what makes up a candlestick? Let's look at the anatomy of a candlestick. A candlestick has three parts. It has the upper shadow, it has the lower shadow, then it has the body. And those three parts of the candlestick tells us everything we need to know about the price. The upper shadow tells us something about the price. The lower shadow tells us something about the price. And the body of the candle tells us something about the price. Now, based upon the price action, two types of candlesticks are formed. We have the bullish candlestick, which you see here on the left in the green. And you have the bearish candlestick, which is on the right in red. Now let's break down the anatomy of these two types of candlesticks. Now let's start with the bullish candlestick on the left, the green candlestick. You can see the green candlestick has the same basic parts, the upper shadow, the body of the candle and the lower shadow. Now let's see what those parts tell us about the price. We can see the top of the upper shadow tells us it's the highest price and the bottom of the lower shadow tells us it's the lowest price. Then the bottom of the body of the candle tells us the open price and the top of the body tells us the closed price. And as you can notice, the closed price is higher than the open price and that's what makes the candle a bullish candle. And a bullish candle is represented in green. That tells us the price is trending up because it closes higher than it opened. So when it opened, it opened at one price level and then when it closes, it closed at a higher price level. So the prices are trending up and we call that a bullish trend. So that makes it a bullish candle, which is green. Now let's take a look at the bearish candle on the right, the red candle. As you can see, it also has the highest price at the top of the upper shadow and it has the lowest price at the bottom of the lower shadow. Then it has the closing price at the bottom of the body and the open price at the top of the body. And as you can see, the closing price is lower than the open price. So the prices are trending down. And that's what makes it a bearish candlestick. Whenever the close price is lower than the open price, it becomes a bearish candlestick. The opposite of a bullish candlestick. Remember, the bullish candlestick, the close price is higher than the open price. And the bearish candlestick is the reverse. The closing price is lower than the open price. So these are the two types of candlesticks that are formed based upon the price action. We have the bullish candlestick, which is green and represents a price increase. And we have the bearish candlestick, which is red and represents a decrease in price. So it's important to note the difference between a bullish candlestick and a bearish candlestick. The only difference is the closing price. In a bullish candlestick, the closing price is higher than the open price. And in a bearish candlestick, the closing price is lower than the open price. And the default color for a bearish candlestick is red, while the default color for a bullish candlestick is green. And as for the prices represented by the candlesticks, for the time period which the candlestick represents, when that time period starts, the price at the start of the time period is called the open price. The price at the end of the time period is called the closed price. And the highest price reached during that time period is the highest price. 
and the lowest price reached during that time period is the lowest price. Even though the default color for the bullish and bearish candlesticks are green and red, you can also see those candlesticks sometimes in white and black with the white candlestick being the bullish candlestick and the black candlestick being the bearish candlestick. While you wouldn't see the white and black candlesticks as default on a chart, most brokerage applications would give you the choice to choose between the red and green candlestick or the black and white candlestick. So most cases you'll have a choice. But remember, green and red are the default colors. So you will always see these two colors on the chart unless you choose to change it to black and white. So there are two types of candlesticks depending on the price direction. There's a bullish candlestick and then there's the bearish candlestick. And in the case of a bullish candlestick, a bullish candlestick forms when the stock price opens at a certain price and closes at a higher price. This candlestick represents a price increase and the default color for a bullish candlestick is green. Then in the case of the bearish candlestick, a bearish candlestick forms when the stock price opens at a certain price and closes at a lower price. This candlestick shows a price decrease and the default color is red. Now here's an example of how candlesticks look on a chart. As you can see it's a combination of bullish and bearish candlesticks. And this is what you will see on any stock chart. It's basically made up of bullish and bearish candlesticks. Here's an example of another stock chart. As you can see again, it's a combination of bullish and bearish candlesticks. Now let's look at the left side of this chart. You can see there's a consecutive number of bullish candlesticks and you can see the price is increasing. So you can see how the trend has been represented by the candlestick. The bullish candlestick is showing you that there's an increase in prices. So there's an uptrend. Now let's look at the right side of the chart. You can see there's a consecutive number of bearish candlesticks and the price are decreasing. So you can see the trend again, the bearish candlesticks are showing that the prices are trending down. So we see in this example here, how the candlesticks represent the price action of the stock. Now, what makes a candlestick bullish or bearish? We know that a bullish candlestick, the price is increasing and for a bearish candlestick, the price is decreasing. But what causes the price to increase or decrease? It's the buyers and the sellers of the stock. Bullish and bearish candlesticks are formed by the buyers and the sellers, basically the traders of the stock. The people who are trading the stock determines if the stock is gonna be bullish for a period of time or if it's gonna be bearish. Now, let's first look at a bullish candlestick and how it's formed. For any given period of time, when the buyers outnumber the sellers, a bullish candlestick is formed. That means the demand is greater than the supply and prices increase. So it's the old economic principle of supply and demand. Whenever demand is greater than supply, prices increase. So whenever the buyers are more than the sellers, prices increase and a bullish candlestick is formed. Now let's look at how a bearish candlestick is formed. For any given period of time, when the sellers outnumber the buyers, a bearish candlestick is formed. Supply is greater than demand and prices decrease. So you see it's the opposite of the bullish candlestick. When the sellers are greater than the buyers, meaning supply is greater than demand, the bearish candlestick is formed. Prices decrease. So that's how bullish and bearish candlesticks are formed. Buyers more than the sellers, bullish candlesticks are formed because demand is greater than supply in that case. And for a bearish candlestick, the sellers outnumber the buyers, meaning there are more supply than demand. So the prices decrease. Now let's look at the chart we looked at previously to see how the buyers and the sellers influence the candlestick and the stock price. Now let's focus on the left side of this chart. You can see there's a consecutive number of bullish candlesticks, which shows an increase in price over a period of time. This is so because there are more buyers than sellers for the stock over that period of time. 
meaning demand is more than supply, so the prices would increase. And if we look at the right side of the chart, we see a consecutive number of bearish candlesticks and it shows that the prices are decreasing. This is so because over that period of time, there are more sellers than buyers for the stock, meaning there are more supply than demand. So bearish candlesticks are formed and the price decreases. So this is how the buyers and the sellers influence the stock price and determine whether a bullish or bearish candlestick is formed for a given time period. Now that we have covered all the basics of a candlestick, we know that a candlestick is what represents the price action for a given time period for any stock. We also know that a candlestick has three parts, has the upper shadow, has the lower shadow, and it has the body. And we know there are two types of candlesticks. There's the bullish candlestick, which is green and represents an increase in price and is formed when there are more buyers than sellers for the stock, meaning there are more demand than supply. And then there's the bearish candlestick, which is red and represents a decrease in price and is formed when there are more sellers than buyers for the stock, meaning there are more supply than demand. We also learned that the candlesticks tell us four things about the price. It tells us the highest price, it tells us the lowest price, it also tells us the open price, and it tells us the close price. Sean G Academy, thank you for visiting this channel. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below. If you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed as yet, please subscribe. You can also click the notification button to learn when more videos like this are posted. Thank you.